So here is the uh, boundary creation CDF. Let's try. So instantiate EDF. So first one input it will be a volume, so you can select the volume, and the second uh, input will be uh, the direction of the base, which direction you wanna make the, the boundary. So normally you can select the one of the base of the the input volumes. And when you see the result, uh, this kind of a, um, boundary will be generated. If you select another face, um, such as this slide, then let's look at the preview. So now the, the boundary box belong to the, the this face you select. So how does it works? The power, uh, the UDF is created with the input of the one uh, volume and the base. And when you look at the UDF creation, the first step is to create the center point. The, this point is came from the relation, the called that center uh, of gravity from the this volume. Then from here, also you can create the the, the plan from the the input surface. So the plan is created here. Then now. Uh, at this point will the project to the plan. Now you connect the, the between uh, two points. So this is, will be the direction. So when you have the one direction, you can uh, create the ashes system with specific direction. Then other one will be automatically created. Then from here, when you have the as a system, you can create the direction line point from the cent uh, center point and directions from the component. So when you see the edit the component, you will see that you can define the direction with the as system. So it's a uh, zero zero one means it's that that direction. So you created the three. Uh, direction curve from there also you create the, the plan why I do this uh, for the next step so here I create in the X uh, extreme so extreme means uh, you can extract from the element uh, from by the direction so this for that I need to have the, the line not the as system and uh, this means the positive so look at the, this direction uh, line directions positive so you will extract the element so this element can be uh, surface or can be the line the or can be a point depends on the where the direction it is so in the minimum and maximum you will have it and now you uh, the measures between the minimum to x uh, minimum to so so the measure the x positive length and the s negative length from the this plan x plan so then you will know the the maximum distance as well so from positive plus negative length will become uh, the x distance. Doing the same way, y and z. So now uh, you know the each the length of it. So now you can create the boundary box with the sketch. 
the sketch plan will be uh, the chat plan and now when you look at the sketch you can the link the, the dim dimension uh, length with the, the parameter the this associated and the same way when you created the extrude you can define the length of the jet direction positive direction and the jet uh, negative direction so, so this way you created the UDF and then now you can use the this UDF with the another place like this.